Hello, my viewers. The first thing you should do when you notice ice on your suction line at the condensing unit and at the air handler is to pretty much bet that your evaporator coil is iced over as well. And the first thing you should do is to be sure that you have a clean air filter. This is something that doesn't really require tech. Just open up the return grill and look at your air filter and make sure that it's clean and clear of a lot of dust and debris and everything. If it is, then you need to change it. If you have found that the suction line is frosted up, it's probably not a good idea to remove the panel on your air handler right away. You really should go ahead and just let it thaw at first. If you remove this panel from your air handler too soon, before that had a chance to thaw, you could easily ruin the insulation that's inside of the cabinet. Okay, once you've given your air handler a few hours or so to thaw out, you can look inside and see if the blower is running. As you can see, this one is. If it weren't running, uh, that means that the blower wheel obviously not be turning and that would mean that that would be the problem. One other possibility for having an iced up evaporator coil and suction line is that your blower motor may not be working for one reason or the other. This may require a tech to determine the reason and to make the repair. As you can see in this condensing unit the suction line is pretty much frosted up and of course the suction line at the service valve is getting frosted up. Now you can see where the evaporator coil is getting frosted up and within just a few hours it would be pretty much a block of ice where air would not be able to pass through it at all. In particular in this case it's because the blower isn't running. The other possibility is that you could be low in refrigerant this will most definitely require a tech. 